Welcome to the Servo DMX how-to video. We'll start off with a blank project. We'll select a Boo Box Flex Max. Next, we'll add our Servo DMX. Just a note here, by default, all the uh, outputs are enabled. If you need to save some DMX channels and you want to disable some of these, um, you need to remember to also disable them in the servo DMX utility. But for this demo purpose, I'm just going to leave them all. Click Select. And if you scroll down, you'll see Director has assigned a DMX channel of 6 to my servo DMX. Now I'm going to cut away and boot up the servo, servo DMX to see what the current channel is. And then we'll come back and open up the servo DMX utility. And we're back. And for those of you who noticed, the DMX light blinked nine times on the servo DMX when I plugged in the power. That indicates that it's currently set to address nine. Now on our new project here in Director, it's saying it has set up our servo DMX as channel 6. So we need to change the base channel of the servo DMX to 6. To do so, go to Tools and click on Servo DMX Setup Utility. This will bring up the Servo DMX Setup Utility. The first thing you want to do is read in the settings of the current servo DMX. And as we said before, it blinked nine times. So it's currently set to DMX address nine. I have inputted nine there. And I'm just going to click read from device button at the bottom here. Click yes to proceed. And it has read in the current settings of the servo DMX. And as you can see, there has been some acceleration set on servo one. So now, first step to change the base DMX address, we need to click on the set base DMX address tab and it already has our 9 in, inputted in the current DMX address and we want to update it to 6. We'll just click set. Address has, cha has changed successfully. Okay, great. Going back to the configure servos and options tab, you'll notice the servo DMX address has been updated to 6. Now to play around the servo settings, I'm going to start the DMX. Just a note to remember to not plug in the power of your boo box when configuring the servo DMX. And we'll just wait for this status bar to fill up. And that means it's ready to go. I'll click on Servo Options. And I'll bring in our demo skull here. And Servo 1, I believe, is hooked up to the head rotation, as you can see. I can manually move the slider back and forth, and the head will rotate. So why do we need things like max speed and max acceleration? Well, I will demonstrate to you. I'm going to set the max acceleration back to max. And every time you make any changes here, you need to wait for the DMX to restart. Once it's done, we can move the slider back and forth again. But note the movement of the head. Because we're on max acceleration, it's accelerating at the max speed of the servo, but that's not necessarily realistic to a head turning movement. So what we'll do is we'll put the max acceleration back down, 84% this time approximately, which is fine. Wait for it to reboot. And now, when you move the slider, you'll notice you'll get a much smoother motion. And you can do the same for the eyes. Let me center the skull a bit here.
you'll notice though that the eyes when I'm panning to one side has reached its end but I'm not quite at the end of my slider which means we're basically at the physical end of where the eyes can move so what we'll do here is set our high limit and do the same for the other side once this is done booting up let's go all the way to this end set our low limit So now we have limits on the high end and low end, so our eyes, so the servo does not try to move beyond the limits of the actual movement of the eyes. While we're here, there's an important option called scale input values to fit within limits. So what this does, I'm going to check it, is it allows you to, in director, use the values of 0 to 255 like you would anything else, but those will scale within the limits of the confines of what we just set right here in the servo DMX setup utility. So I'm going to just click commit changes to device and all the changes we did to servo 1 and 2 will be saved and just to confirm if you go back to summary you'll see for servo 1 our max acceleration is at 83.9 percent as we set and the limits for servo 2 are the numbers we plugged in while playing around with the test slider and that's it. I'm going to go back to director now. All right, we're back in director. Uh, what you didn't see in the background was I actually plugged the power back into the blue box. So now we can click on the connect button here and that'll connect us up to the FlexMax, which is connected to the Servo DMX. I'll bring back my skull here for you to see. And the virtual console. And you can see that the scaling works for Servo 2 that we set for the eyes. You can see as we approach the top there's no extra play there at the top end and same with the bottom end here of the of servo 2 settings and for servo 1 if you recall we were playing around with the max acceleration and you can see the movement of the head is a lot smoother and that will just about do it for the servo DMX thanks for joining us hopefully this helps you guys